Hello and welcome back to Africa Arise and thank you for tuning in and uh, as usual if you haven't subscribed if you like these videos consider liking sharing subscribing and if you are not watching on Facebook consider following and don't forget to ask your questions in the comment section below and uh, I will soon come back to you now we have done the installation of scratch we have done the installation of Python However, this video is dedicated for children who want to get started with programming in Scratch. So, beginning programming in Scratch by building your own computer games. This is going to be a three-part series because I am afraid to make it too long. I don't want to make it one hour because uh, I'm afraid it will be actually monotonous or boring. So if I just make it a little bit of a three-part series broken down into 20 minutes, that will be fine. So now we want to go and look into the interface of Scratch, the interface of Scratch, so that we begin to get going. So without further ado, if you are really pumped up to get started with programming, go ahead and let's get into the screen and see what we have. So the interface of Scratch is divided in many parts. So we are going to dwell in the, we are going to look at all these areas one by one. So the three part series as it is going to, to the first one is going to first look at this upper bar over here. And the, the second one is going to look over here on this other right part. And the third one is going to look at this part. There are a lot of hidden things over here. You can see we have got things like costumes and the, all these things. We have got things like uh, sprites. We have got things, all these things. So we are going to talk a little bit in brief about all these areas. Then we go ahead. We also come over here we talk about these things over here and later on we come back we actually we actually talk about this part and the things that you can do and what are all these things called and after that you'll be ready to get going so this is going to be a three-part series and thank you for watching and until next time Looking at this one is saying sprite. Basically, you can name your sprites over here. But uh, let me answer the question that you could be asking. Because I know you could be asking what is a sprite. A sprite basically refers to an object. But what is an object? <laughs> let me further break it down and make it much simpler to say it is a cartoon part of the cartoon or a cartoon that you have chosen to put on your screen and which you have chosen to run as your code or to animate so if i come down over here i can hover over here and you see that there is a plus sign in this green button and it's saying choose sprite so if i click over here wow have you never have you ever imagined that this scratch is hiding all these things over here huh? if i scroll down my mouse as you can see look you've got letters you've got animals you've got trees cars instruments and much 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 more and uh, these are the sprites 
pre-made for you but that doesn't mean that you can't create your own sprites we are still going to go there and you'll be able to see if you are able to create your own and you're going to learn a little bit about some basics of graphics designing so that you'll be able to if you need to create your own sprites so this for the meantime if the word sprite is too big for you let's just say these are cartoons just let's simplify it let's just say they are cartoons for the meantime if the word sprite is too big for you so in other words in your notes just write sprite and dash cartoon all right and over here you can search there is a, a search a box over here whereby you can search a certain a uh, cartoon that you want or a certain sprite that you want for example let's try this if you say car you see if i type the word car you see all the cartoons or all the sprites under the category of car they are appearing over here but if i also come back and i say a child let's see if it comes out it doesn't come so sometimes you find that uh, it doesn't come because maybe it could be under the category of people if i type people over here what happened you see these are people all of these ones okay then you can also type ball okay and the balls are coming out including people you see all right and if you don't want to search you can filter out the uh, the things that you want through these categories because right now we are under all if you click animals you can go to the group of animals only the word category simply means group so this is the group of animals only and if you come over here this is people this is the group of people you see and we can see that some are swimming some are standing some are dancing some are whatever riding a horse or playing hockey and whatever you see and if i come here over here fantasy you can see that this is kind of fictitious cartoons or fictitious uh, sprites okay then we come over here the people dancing okay and over here this is musical instruments okay and over here sports food fashion letters all right so over here if you want to get out of this uh place you just click here over the top left where it says back you are back into the uh, main interface right so for example we want to choose a sprite to add let's choose for now let's choose a banana okay now you see i have just deliberately chosen this one so that you are able to see what's happening so once we choose a sprite if you click on it it's basically added in this window so right now we basically have two sprites a banana and a monkey sprite and your sprites are now in appearing over here down here and uh, if you want to delete or to remove a sprite you can just click over here on this thing if i click over it you see the monk has disappeared if you want if you happen to delete something by a mistake and you can't you don't know what to do you can still uh, work your way out of that one unfortunately you can simply say restore you come over here on edit and say restore so i have restored the monkey sprite now over here we want to name our sprites if i click on the banana you can see that there are words bananas over here but if i click on the monkey it is sprite one so we want uh, it to be noticeable because maybe when you are creating a game you are going to put a lot of sprites over here a lot of cartoons over here such that you 
end up uh, if you don't name them if you don't give them names you end up having some sort of confusion so you can simply write monkey on your keyboard you type monkey and hit enter so now you see that it's appearing over here monkey okay so what are these ones these two things show hide you see so if you highlight on a particular sprite you are able to click show it or hide it using these two things the cancelled i means hide and the uncancelled i means show all right now what are these you've got x y and you've got size and direction for now i want you to have a little bit of patience you are going to we are going to talk about these things a little bit later once we talk about these things and able and use some of the uh, icons to create uh, some short games then we come here to talk about these x and y because i know that i am dealing with people who are a little bit younger and uh, i understand that you could be confused with these ones and for now i say just leave it but this one size is simply for how big you want your sprite to be right now it's saying 100 if i say 50 and hit enter look at what will happen to the bananas look at what will happen to the bananas hit end on your keyboard you see the size of the banana has decreased all right which is to say this size is only for you to be able to increase or decrease the size to make it either big or small if i put 300 300 and hit enter look at how big my bananas have become and i can also go ahead and take it back to where it was 100 and hit enter all right now direction is just for direction which direction do you want it to point or to 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 show for example this month if i say 20 let's see hit enter can you see after i press 20 the monk instead of facing where it was facing is now facing like the legs one leg is pointing upwards all right is because of the direction we have changed here but i can say 250 and hit enter see the head is upside down and it's saying here minus 110 degrees but don't worry about this we're going to talk more about them now let's go back over here and talk more about the sprite area if i come over here i can click over here and search for sprites okay so this one is the area for you to 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 search for sprites and this one is the paint you are able to begin to paint and create your own sprites for example if i'm to do some rough demonstrations over here you can just draw something and this is the let me just draw something just for demonstration purposes okay okay so it simply assures us that we can do some sort of uh, designing over here and we can design what we want and over here we can give it a name like a, a stick person stick person stick let me just say stick boy okay just for interest sake yeah so you can give a name to your sprite which you have created and you can even paint it using the brush you can uh, uh, rub to delete using this thing you see and there is a lot but we are going to actually dwell much in how to use these tools all right and all these things like convert to bitmap and they choose sprite uh, uh, convert to bitmap what 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 and here you can actually uh, surprise if i click over here you see that it, it randomly 
choose some uh, some sprites which are already made in what in, in scratch but uh, the way it is doing it it is randomly picking that is why it is say it is written surprise can you see you can randomly you can randomly choose you see here there is a ball to select randomly it means that uh, you are not the one who determines that you want to choose what whenever you click it automatically chooses something different for you okay and over here upload costume maybe you have designed or maybe you have played with other graphic designing softwares like uh, a photoshop and others or maybe you have found a picture on the internet you can download it and upload it over here so you can upload your, your own costume or your own what a uh, sprite now over here you've got if you've got a laptop or if you have got a computer that has got access that is a camera you can use a camera to take a picture okay if it is a picture of yourself or whatever you can go ahead and take a picture and you can take again a picture you see all right now let's get out of here let's get out of here and let's come back uh, over here so right now you could be asking how do we get out of here out of this area you just come back here on the code and you click over here you are back so this is another way over here to navigate through these areas all right now let's talk about this area this area is one of the most important ones it is one of the most important ones it is saying instead of choosing sprite it is saying choose a backdrop what is a backdrop imagine you are shooting a video that which is at your background if you are standing against the wall the wall is your backdrop so backdrop simply means background so if for demonstration purposes if i say choose backdrop over here wow scratch goes ahead to introduce us to another whole new world with a lot of backgrounds you see can you see just as in the sprites we now have another realm another a uh, grouping of uh, different backgrounds so that you are able to make your own what your own games if you say maybe you want to choose a, a a soccer game and you click over here you see that uh right now we've got these things you know what we've got these things this is the background and this is the foot the soccer ground and you begin to put your characters and you maybe want to create cartoons who are playing football over there all right then over here let's go back and let's talk a little bit about this you can also search backgrounds over here because the more you get uh, to use a uh, scratch the more you get familiar with the certain background names so for example you get to use to these things like chalkboard galaxy metro playground moon mountains room mural nebula and so forth so you can also navigate over here and choose them according to their groupings the fantasy if you want to play maybe you want to create a game that has got uh, something like a uh, world animal or whatever it could be and over here music you see music performance we are going to create a a symbol and a short uh, game over here where you can play your music yeah you can also choose things like sports and the sports you can see all these things and outdoors you can also see all these things mountains water water and much more 
and over here you can also see we've got these things indoor in the house whatever it is birthday uh, maybe the parties or space yeah and over here we've got yeah these are a lot of things these are a lot of things and you are not only limited to these ones you can also as we have done over here you can also upload you can also upload your background i believe if you come over here you can say upload your background then it leads you to your computer and you can choose any of what you want from your what from your pc you do upload all right so now and over here it's surprise again what does it do it randomly choose what does random means random simply means that you'll be choosing the software will be choosing for you at its own way of choosing you see it is not you who determines what you want okay the paint you can also paint your own background you see you can choose the paint that you want and uh, choose and paint your own what your own background if i select colors over here and you see you are able to choose your own background there is a lot of things that you can do here we are going to dwell into it in much detail but for now we are just walking through the interface so that you are able to see what you can do with that with the scratch so right now instead of costume you see that it is written backdrops all right now uh, what have we left over here this area now what is this area called this area is called a stage is a stage that's where the activities your game will be and you are able to press certain keys and play your game after you have created it all right and over here this is the uh, sprite tab this is where your sprites are going to be showing and this is where your backdrops backgrounds are going to be appearing all right and thank you for watching and until next time